What's up, deckheads? Welcome back to MTG with me. Uh, we're going to continue that grind through ranked. Uh, currently in diamond. I believe diamond four. Just barely getting in there. Let's take a look. Yep, still at the beginning stages of diamond four. So, uh, no real changes to note. Let's just keep looking and see what we got going on in diamond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if you haven't already, it really does help the channel. i um, a fairly new channel and a free-to-play player, so doing all I can to uh, show you what's going on uh, with what I got. Oh, I played this player the other day. I uh, can't remember what they had, though, for a deck. Uh, their diamond ranked looks like diamond one. Uh, I am diamond four, so that means there's either not a lot of diamond players or not a lot of diamond players on right now so we shall see most of what i've been seeing is mono red uh either either mono red or blue black control uh, that being said the sword of once and future might be the ideal card to put in this just doing one of games because i know i'm going to see that but Again, still on the fence. There's a lot of stuff I could do. I just, I don't know. Beast Caller. Okay. This could be that one with the goblin that sacks, deals its power to any target. I can't remember. Uh, they'd have to show Naya colors, though, for me to be worried about that. Uh, and that deck doesn't really have a lot of the removal that White does. They're just building up the board state as much as they can, so... Uh, one board wipe should take out this opponent pretty quickly. No blocks. I'll work on blocking what I can when I get there. Uh, and it looks like they're 2 CMC. So, um, I will use Virtuoso to block. Use Lauren's Escape to just try to fish for that board wipe. Because I'm assuming my opponent's just going to keep laying it down. Um, sweet. Another 2 drop. Uh, let's see, resolve, which means, you know what, I probably, hindsight here, probably should have put up Blast Zone to get one counter on it, um, and then that way I could have used Lauren's Escape the next time when there's more damage coming in, but, well, we'll see, see what happens, um, okay, so I could chop the five, or I can get rid of the brawler. So I'm going to get rid of the brawler. I will block. Lauren's escape. That's going to be a 2 2 double strike, indestructible, hexproof. Um, shoot. In order for it to be a 2 2, I have to get rid of a non land. I've only got two. I guess all will be one is out. Last zone. Now that could be helpful. Because I've got Sarah, I can replay my board state. If my opponent's smart, they'd put Sarah in their deck too, because it looks like they've got a lot of low CMC. Um, I will... I'll put it to the bottom. I can bring that land back with Sarah. Alright, down to 10. Lifelink would be good. I don't have that option right now. I could put out Sarah and just hope for a really good next turn. Get hit for five, maybe six. I think I'm going to do that. Just so I can plan on the Elspeth turn five, no attacks. And just go from there. There's not much that I had to play with in that opening hand. I mean, happy to have the land, no argument there. That's always a a plus. This card I was definitely thinking of putting in the deck, but it just fell short. It demands a board state to use every aspect of it. Choose blockers? No, no blocks. I'll play Elspeth and get six life next turn. I'll go up one. Yeah, I'll do that. 
feel like home. And I'll defend it like one. Let's do this together. Now I could swing or just wait for my opponent to swing in. And in which case I could get rid of the beast caller, gain six, go back to where I was, and then next turn play virtuoso. So if I were to swing with it, yeah, I'd gain six. But that's not smart. I would open up Elspeth to get hit. I would open up myself to get hit if they had something else going on. So no attacks. I'll hope that there's no removal. My opponent's been missing land drops. It looks like they're still on three. Yeah. So my best move now is to move Blast Zone up, play defense, and wipe out those two drops. I would suspect I see a six, six swing. Yeah. Uh, I'll choose the blockers. I'll gain six. We'll take care of that problem. And then I'll also be able to gain life. Uh, those are going to go to the brawler for sure. Five makes it a seven, seven, I think. Or does it start as a two, two? It starts as a two, two. So it'll be a six, six. Excellent. Okay. We got a really awesome draw there. Angel Fire Ignition is going to change the game here. Uh, they can hit me for 11. I don't care. Uh, I'm going to play land for turn. Do I need that one? I do not. I'll play Virtuoso. I am going to... I don't need all the land there, so I'll do one here. Well, I still have enough. I will. Alright, so I'll do Angel Fire on Virtuoso. Ooh, discard Ryu. It's a good four drop. It's going to be three, call it four, five, ten damage if I... Yeah, I think it's worth it. I'm going to get rid of Ryu. As bad as I don't want to. Let's make him flying. Swing for ten. And next turn, that's lethal. Uh, I'm back up to 21. I could take the whole hits from my opponent. Elspeth's at 7. I do think my opponent's just going to throw it here. Can't swing. Yep, that's it. Alright. That was a good game. My opponent got mana blocked. That's, you know. It's a win. I'll take it. But it's not. A, it doesn't make you feel good. Um, so another thing to bring up with, uh, the grind climbing the ladder in MTGA, uh, you don't have to use the same deck. You could use a red deck wins all the way up until diamond and then switch it up. So maybe that's what my opponent did there. Cause I don't think that that would have naturally just made its way to diamond. Uh, me, however, since I am doing free to play, I'm building off what I have. And I think that, um, I think that that's better for you to see. Because you'll, you'll see like the progression of what I had to do and, and what helps you climb and what doesn't. As far as just like a general strategy to play the game. Uh, let me not take too long here. I'll keep this. Uh, I got a 1, 2, 3, and a 4. That's And 3 lands. Uh, I think that that's good enough to keep. Um, some people just like to use that winning strategy they find online. Then switch it to something that they like. Which is kind of meh. I mean, I don't like. I feel like you should earn your way there. You know what I mean? But that's just me. I'm not a cookie cutter guy. I've always been a, let me make what I want to make and uh, steer it to be the meta of whatever I see a lot of people playing so that that way I know I've got a better edge. This is probably a mono red. Um, first strike menace for one. Kind of cool. Um, if, if you could sack that and make a treasure token, that might be even more playable. But just sacking it to add one mana of any color is not necessarily ideal. Uh, I have my turn two, turn three kind of move. So I'll do that and just hope my opponent doesn't hit it. Uh, no attacks. That'll help discourage the block. Maybe my opponent will sack it for a three drop. Uh, maybe get their enchantment out. What is this? Oh, alt artwork for Fable Mirror Breaker. That's a good card. But they're pretty much boned at this point. Um, may discard two cards, draw two cards. That's cool. But as far as damage, I'm going to get a huge swing. Moreover, I'm going to have the training. Uh, let me get rid of it. Four cards, five cards in hand. 
yeah, I'll get rid of that, and then hopefully, if I draw a land, I'll just Gobacon, Gobacon, and get rid of whatever my opponent could do. Yeah, they're done. Um, I would also swing through for another plus one, plus one counter, which is great, because then I could get rid of the Fable enchantment literally next turn. Um, so that's, I mean, that was, I think that was pretty good on pace, but my my opponent knew right away that that life gain is going to get rid of the mono red uh, pretty quickly. Go ahead and start up another one. That was a pretty good game. Um, much better than playing mono blue. I don't know if you watched some of the other videos, but I hate playing those games. It just takes forever, and it's just... I don't think it's a good strategy. Uh, when you play in real events, uh, there is a time limit. So some people will even play that just to push you to the time limit. Try to get one win, and then take all the time to get that 1-0. Instead of like a 2-0 or a 2-1 and just finish it off. So... I don't like seeing those. Uh, this is a keep. Everything's playable except one, and I can draw any land in the deck to do that. Uh, also, none of those are tap lands, so I can really play it however I want. That's a pretty solid keep when I look at that. <clears throat> uh, this diamond opponent is in diamond two. I'm sorry, diamond three. I'm in diamond four. You can kind of see it on the screen here. My logo there is the smallest one. Um, but my frame is kind of covering the other one. Sweet. Hey, we drew that land. So we're good, right? Uh, what I want to see now is Virtuoso and Angel Fire back to back. And that would be right where I want to be. Ah. Um, opponent's playing Grixis. So blue, black, red. I will... Try to go Bacon, does that resolve? It does, almost instantly. So I don't think my opponent has any counters. They don't. Um, they have one red mana source, two blue, and one black. So they could play that next turn. They could also play that, but they cannot play that. Um, what I think they're trying to do is play Mirror Breaker. To play Sheldred. So we're gonna slow that down. I'm gonna start working on Gobacon. And they're gonna play Corpse Appraiser with no creatures in the graveyards to get rid of. Ooh, they got their swamp. Uh, so that's gonna help them play Sheldred. Okay. Now I have four mana. I can do my board wipe, which is cool. Uh, I think what I'll do is play Adversary, keep Lauren's escape open, pass turn. I just hope my opponent comes in with an attack next turn. Ooh, using Nahiri, Warcrafting, 5 damage, I'll go ahead and bite on that. Ooh, keep Virtuoso at the top, please. And I might just hold him in my hand right now because we're not at early game anymore. We're a little bit mid. So if I do play him, I could assume that it's going to run into some problems. If I wait until I get Angel Fire, all I need to do is wait for 5 mana and Angel Fire in hand and just boom boom go. Um, I do outnumber my opponent in creatures right now. So I will play Face Breaker to encourage my opponent to play Sheldred and just get that out of the way. Um, even better, this is a little risky. My opponent's probably going to block the adversary. That's fine. Hopeful will become, uh, will have that training counter. So I'll get rid of Gobacon 
great i'll have that indestructible hex proof kind of thing uh hopeful will then go up to a three four and that should help when my opponent plays fable mirror breaker because i think that's what they're doing i don't know why they wouldn't have played sheldred already but anyway so either way i'm gonna get gobacon there unless they have like a one drop bounce with blue that's it wow they took that. Hey, I'm happy to see it. Uh, that means they really want that enchantment to stay alive. Which is cool. Uh, end turn. Now I got a 4-2. Uh, I'm guessing Sheldred, unless they drew something better. I want them to play the enchantment. Um, and swing with the 3-3. Three, three. Oh, okay. Because then I can get Face Breaker in there, start sacking those treasure tokens, dig for what I need. So far, not seeing it. Swing with a 3 3. That would be nice. I could just walk right up. Right, walk right across. Draw. Board wipe. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Well, then I guess I have to. I will activate the ability. Board wipe. Bye bye. And swing it over. Alright. A little vulnerable right there, but got some damage in. Took care of the problems. Opponent's got three cards in hand. Going with the Mirror Breaker. Twice. Okay, isn't that a legendary? It's not a legendary. Wow, I thought that was a legendary. So that could be cool. I got another board wipe though waiting for him. <laughs> okay, so five mana is the top, is like the cap out of my deck. So uh, keeping that in mind, I can go ahead and just crack this open. See what we got. Land, whatever. Ooh. That's good and bad. Uh, I can hit that if if I swing. Oh, that's a double block. If I swing with both, I can get it and play it. It's not great. That would encourage my opponent to play creatures, though, and I've got two in hand, so maybe that's the move. I could play another one. What does that turn into? It turns into a 2-2. Two, two. That is interesting. I think... Uh, if I play it, I can't play... Alright, so, swinging for both. Just going for it. Trying to get that extra mana down. Playing the bigger things. My opponent is... Ahead of me by two lands. You, you gotta pick one. Okay. Okay, he's gone. But again, like I said, Sarah brings back anything less than four. That's a permanent. Play that. And that's the one of in my deck that's just... If I can get it rolling... If I, if I have a good amount of life and a board state I can work with, which I do, then that really helps me kind of get that extra damage in there. If I can get a land and play Elspeth, that's 8 damage. It's pretty disgusting. Oh, there goes Facebreaker. I'm sure they don't want to see that. Yeah. Did I have anything else? I had one other thing. 3 mana floating. Opponent swinging with a 2 2 creates a treasure token. That's fine. There's our fifth land. Now we're just waiting to see Elspeth. Um, I don't know um, if I should swing or not because if I swing, my opponent's probably. Oh, counter that pay four? Weak. 
Well, now I'm definitely not going to swing. Uh, that was only going to do one damage if I pumped it once. Well, all, all will be on one would have hit once. I'm not going to swing. Uh, that'll be a, a weak trade, and my opponent's about to get two of the uh, reflections out. Thank goodness they don't have haste. Um, and let's see, another one? You've got to be kidding me. I also thought about putting that in because it does create uh, treasure tokens, but for me that's way too slow. You play a 3-drop to wait till turn 4, 5 before it comes in with summoning sickness? No, that's no, 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 no. Uh, no blocks. I'll take two. Gotta land. I'll swing for damage. Blocking with one of them, two of them. Interesting choice to block with two. I don't have trample. And Angel Fire is a sorcery, so I couldn't do it instant speed anyway. I'll gain four, go up to 29. What are you gonna do? You got something? Uh, additional cost sack creature, draw two cards. Good move by my opponent. Probably could have waited one more turn, but I. I don't want to risk whatever that haste action is. Just swinging them across. I could play Virtuoso, but I have nothing to protect it with, and it's better to have a card in hand, I think. Cycling? They're really digging now. Discard up to two. So at this point, they've gone through, they have 36 cards left, but they've already gone through 30, half their deck. They've like looked at stuff and pitched it down. Come on, Angel Fire. Angel Fire would be amazing. Oh no. Flesh Gorger. Okay. I could play adversary, pump, pump, make it a 5-3, deal 2 damage to my opponent. I think that's the move. The menace is going to mess with me a little bit, but hopefully my opponent swings with it. What am I waiting on? They've got one blue open. Oh, don't tell me they got a bounce. They might have the counter unless I pay four thing. I'm just going to do uh, two to the face here because nothing else is really going to help me. What do you have for one blue? It's just blue. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Three creatures against us. It's a 5-3 lifelink on my side. They've got a menace lifelink 3-3 three, three ward where I have to pay uh, to target it equal to its life or its power. What is this? Return target creature planes or to to its owner's hand. If the spell is kicked, put that permanent on the bottom of the library instead. You just spent four mana to put that to the bottom? Monster. Looks like the game is swinging against us on this one. Never mind. Got a board wipe. Uh, perhaps a spell pierce. Counter unless my opponent plays two. So, I mean, I could... Oh, we're going we're going for it. We need to do it anyway. It worked. Excellent. 
We're right back in this. Um, I don't want to play Virtuoso because it could just get removed. And then if I draw Angel Fire, I'll be, I'll be re real upset then. The benefit would be that it's a, it hits for two, so I'm just going to hold it. Ouch. Now we have the 7-5 Lifelink Menace to deal with. That is not good. No sense in playing that now. This is where my opponent uh, turns it around. Could look for... I could look for another board wipe. I think I've gone through three. Yeah. The odds on hitting a... It's 1 in 42. <laughs> That's not good. Just getting rocked right now. Go ahead and pass the turn again. 10 damage swing. Yeah, we're, it's getting real close. And my opponent knows it. This is where that... Oof. This is where that board wipe, uh, White Sun's Twilight would be good. Because... Uh, and that's a good game. Because it would gain life while it sweeps... Very good late game uh, board wipe, but I like the depop four drop. I don't need to worry about it because um, White Sun's Twilight only wipes the board if you have uh, seven mana. It's white, white, and X, and X has to be five for it to destroy the others. Uh, the other card that I could use is a six drop, and that's the one that. Uh, I think it's it is it is called farewell and it does exile all creatures all enchantments all artifacts uh, I think graveyards too oh we got a pack let's check it out games aren't taking too long so we'll, we'll roll another one Warren Clex. this is the old Warren Clex and the alternate artwork for it seven six trample Tap a land for mana, add another one. Whenever your opponent taps a land for mana, it stays tapped for uh, another turn. Which is pretty good. And we also got Helioid. Uh, Radiant Dawn. This one's pretty cool. 4 drop, 4-4. Four, four. Enters the battlefield, return target enchantment card that isn't a god from your graveyard to your hand. For 4, you can transform them. So, if you can play it, you can do its next thing. And then, spells. Uh, you may cast spells as though they had flash. Uh, spells you, ca you cast cost one less to cast for each card uh, your opponents have drawn this turn. Uh, I'm not sure if you can transform Helioid at instant speed. I don't think you can. Maybe you can. I'd have to look that one up. Alright, let's roll into this next one. That's a cool avatar. The sword um, with the, that Elspeth is holding up there is something that I'm actually thinking I might put in. Uh, there's a lot of ideas I'm working with here. But I think that might be a good one. Uh, this is barely keep, so I'll keep. The sword gives plus one, plus one for each counter on something. Uh, I believe I can equip a creature or, or a planeswalker. If I can equip a land, <clears throat> that would be amazing. Because then I could equip the Blast Zone and just be freaking nuts with that. Uh, I'll have to look into that card as well. And uh, Elspeth just herself. If you equip that to Elspeth, that's that's crazy. Uh, not only does she put counters and counters on things. Like, she'll put a plus one counter and something else. Uh, like a Flying, a First Strike, Vigilance, or Lifelink. And that's uh, that's pretty strong to work with. Because it's, it's immediately going to put a plus one, plus one counter on her to activate the activated ability. Put a plus one and another one. So it adds six. It's disgusting. A Tali, huh? Tali for seven. Breach the multiverse. 
Sheldred for five. Well, let's get rid of Sheldred. That's the lowest CMC. So hopefully my opponent doesn't have anything to do. Okay. I should... I shouldn't play Virtuoso because I want to get rid of Gobacon. I'll play Adversary. Opponent is... Looks like very frustrated. Um, I will do another one and just try to piss them off because they're rushing me. You shouldn't rush me, bro. Okay, so now they have six mana. Ooh, Jace, mill 15, huh? Uh, so they should be able to play that next turn. Jace isn't really a problem. Um... I'm gonna get rid of multiverse because I hate this player already. I will attack for three. And now it's a four two. Oh, we're slowly getting in there. I do not have enough mana. I need something. Here comes Jace. Yep. And now it's gonna be a one, two. You cannot win. Shut up, Jace. Or Nobody likes you. Only people that like Jace are a-holes. Blast zone. Uh, I guess I should do Sarah and play Vir Virtuoso from the graveyard. I'll do that next turn. I'll play two Virtuoso. That's three, four, five, six, seven mana. They'll play Sheldred. Well, yeah, I'll do that. They're going to play Sheldred. I'll sack the adversary. Um, and that's, that's what's going to happen next turn. I'll have to sack your, your mana though. Yeah. Ah, that's cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ah, okay. So it's close. Bro, I know it's my turn, man. Come on, bro. Sack a non token creature. I'll get rid of that one. Can be made to obey. Hmm. I'll do adversary. Uh, I could do one damage there. I'll decline. I really want Jace to do the mole because that would actually really help me. And I'll swing for nothing. Just to get that plus one plus one counter. Uh, three, six, seven, eight. One away from multiverse. I think this is where they, they pick one. Choose a creature or planeswalker card from a player's graveyard. For each player. Okay, so they'll pick one. Creature or Planeswalker in each graveyard from milling 10. Um, ooh. We got one Angel Fire. Fantastic. Uh, he can pull a Sarah. That's probably what he would pull. Alright, dumb move from my opponent. Now, uh, let's see what kind of damage I can do. Sweet. Use those cards. Use them. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. 
What is this second one? Each opponent discards three cards, then mills three cards? Yikes. Okay, so I could do this instant speed. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, and then what's the last one? Put all creature cards from all graveyards on the battlefield under your control. That's gonna hurt. We'll get rid of Jace. We'll get rid of this. Yeah, that's gonna be really bad. Uh, I'll play that. How many board wipes are we out? We're out. Uh, one. Two. Two board wipes. Okay. It's not as bad as it could be. Um... Still no red mana. Some red mana. Um, discard. I mean, it's gonna get. They're gonna get discarded anyway. So discard Elspeth. And. Scry. That's not. It's not a mountain. I need, I need red mana. Come on. How many uh, mountains did we go through? One, two, three. Alright, so I've got eight mana producing red, so that's one, two, three, four, five in hand. I've only got three left in the deck. That stinks. Ugh. Well, we didn't see it in the mill, so. Here comes 10. Yep. Down to 14. Okay. And, and so from, from that, there were no mountains. That drastically increased our odds of getting what we needed. Uh, when this enters battlefield, exile three cards at random. From your graveyard, choose a non creature and land among them. Copy it, cast the copy without paying its mana cost. That sucks. If they have Olivia, we're just screwed. 14. Was that. I have one mountain left. <laughs> oh no! Oh, tough game here. Okay, so if I see Grixis, uh, that's their whole strategy. Uh, I should just try to creatures and slam them in there. Atali. They're going to look at more my lands. No. Oh, board wipe. You're not going to board wipe. You won't. You can't. I hope you board wipe. Please board wipe. That would be hilarious. Oh, you idiot. Oops. <laughs> I probably could have saved them with Light Shield Array, but I I I got I got two turns to try to do something here. Come on, mountain. I'll be your shield. Now let's see, that would have been 4, 8, 11, 12. Actually, I probably should have done that. That's my fault. Oh, and the last card is not what I need. So I will swing. Um, yeah. Next turn, Sheldred's going to take all of it. That stinks. Um, go for my own Elspeth. I don't know. This this game is done at this point. Uh, first combat damage. Second combat damage. Creature for turn. Which doesn't mean anything. You'll have to play as many as you can. Um, let's just look at it, because that's disgusting. Oh, 
Oh, the summoning sickness. Resolve. You could do it twice. Do it twice. What? You beef up everything else. I don't know why you wouldn't do that. And so, effectively milled here. That's a good game. Tough. Yeah, uh, that's just another reason I was thinking of, uh, if you watch the other videos, Anointed Peacekeeper, just because making something cost two more, but like all of the cards for playing it is great. Uh, Gobicon is awesome for what it does, but it's a specific card, which, I mean, in, what was it, a couple games ago with the, uh, the Fable, the Mirror Breaker, he, he had so many of them, if, if that worked for all of them, it would have been fantastic. It, he wouldn't have been able to play anything till like, turn six. And I would have had a 3-3 three, three out there, just saying. This is an easy keep. Not not fantastic because of these two late games, but keep seven. Depending on what lands my opponent plays, I, I could wait till turn three. Absolutely gonna wait until turn three now. Because there's no sense in putting Virtuoso out turn two just for to have it removed. You know what I mean? Mono black could be Phyrexian Obliterator. I suspect removal with seven cards in hand. Interesting. Oh, tell me you're gonna just load the board with that. Um, I could do Lauren's Escape, but if they instant res instant speed, well, if I don't get a land and they instant speed, then they would get it right before I play Angel Fire, so might as well see if they have anything. Giving you the option. They chose not to. I'll get rid of all but one. Down to the bottom, I need lands. Time for draw, no land. That's fine, I guess. Let's see if they let that fly. They shouldn't. So I don't think they have anything. Otherwise, they would have stopped that. I think most assuredly you would have if you have two open mana and you saw that. Um. Mm, 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 mm. I will get rid of the Gobicon because I could pick that up with Sarah. So winging in for a lot. What is it? Exile? Oh, ouch! Exile for two. That does hurt. We need him. We need land. Need a any land will do. Yes. Get out of here. I hate that. The Obliterator. Insane. Take a second. And read that. That's dumb. I mean, it's four specific uh, swamps, so you know if you're playing mono black, you're gonna see that. Uh, if I deal any damage to it. I have to sack that many permanents. Yes, that means your lands too. It's, it's just terrible. You don't want to see it. Terrible isn't it? It's, it's too good. We will... We'll try our early game strategy again, just to see. Uh, that is a two drop, so I'll need to up Blast Zone a little bit. Uh, ideally, I want to get Blast Zone up to four, just... For obliterator now that I've seen that my opponent has it I don't want to risk anything uh, no thanks go ahead hex proof indestructible connive and I will I want that land we're gonna get rid of the depop even though I, I, I want it <laughs> um I'll keep the other Elspeth. That helps me dig. That helps me put counters on. It's very good. That's going to be a pass. 
Land for turn. Um, I could play Elspeth and just kind of draw this out a little bit. Yeah, we'll do that. That way. I'm not looking for trouble, but uh, I could get hit with a poison counter and be fine. So we'll do flying. We'll get in there for damage. Next turn we have lethal. Good spot to be in. Land? Could be a land. Come on, land. Come on. Yes, that's game. Good game, sir. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That'll do it for this video. Uh, as always, watch these games, get those gains, and walk those planes. Until next time, deckheads, keep it easy.